What is up? Welcome back. This is going to be a tutorial of sorts. So let's get right into it. Um, I played this game once before. It's awesome. Again, uh, I love it. It's an incredible game and I'm going to show you how to build um, airships if we can get to it. Land ships as well, but we'll start with airships. So I should back up just a bit. So this is this, uh, the screen that you'll see as far as, as soon as you uh, load it in. You have all your options over here. Of course, you have your name, your arms, which don't really mean a whole heck of a lot until you go into uh, uh, Conquest, which um, is a great game mode, but we're not covering that today. And usually you'll get some stuff over here about what's new, but Design and Fight, that's where you get this uh, list of options here. So you have Combat, Open Combat, Airship, Building, Landship Editors, and of course Back. You can just hit Escape or any of those buttons. So if I hit E right now, it's going to bring me back into this. And there's a lot. There is a lot going on here, so it can be a little uh, intimidating at first. But do not worry. Um, I will walk you through it. So over here to the left, you have options. You have basic, which is just going to give you all of your basics uh, of what you need to build an airship. And then you can go into command, crew, lift, of course you can see all these. And all these have extra options for you to uh, pick and choose from to create your very first um, airship. It's the same setup for landship, except you don't have these. You have walking legs and tracks and things of the sort. But for now, you have modules, armor, decoration, and paint. We'll get into that in a second once we actually get some, some pieces. You got overlays over here. You can see what's going to get hit, where your water can get to and all that, but that's getting ahead of ourselves. Right now, let's just go ahead put down a propeller. Um, and there you are. It's uh, You can see this is a whole grid system, so everything fits within those grids. Some things are bigger than others. For example, a suspendium chamber. Um, this is what you're going to need to float in the air. Now, you can see that's red. So up in here, this tells you what you still have yet to do to your ship to make it uh, operational, to make it fly. So it has uh, disconnected parts, no coal, no crew, and you can't give commands to the ship. So right now, not a great design, uh, to say the least. Um, but this part is a very interesting mechanic of this game. So, disconnected parts. You can see as I got closer there, there's that little white line. If I take it away, it goes away. That's where your crew can run between things. Now, if I were to put it all the way over here, a crew cannot just jump over. Um, that would be ridiculous. So, we gotta put something in there. Now, down here we have coal storage. If we connect those, you saw the two lines, and we even have a ladder. So all of those are ladder points that you can uh, connect to get people to walk around your ship and move around a little easier. Um, so on and so forth. So no crew. Well, over here we have quarters. We also have uh, uh, little ones called berths. But you see, that explains it a lot better. So that white line is everywhere that your crew can go. If I were to put it here, boom, connected. Easy as that. Now, we need some supply hatches. Your supply hatches allow crew to enter and exit. Uh, you see things start moving, so I take it away. Things are, you know, can't move. Add it. Boom. Perfect. So, the last thing, we cannot give commands to our ship. Well, right here, a bridge. And, uh, you can see you got a little dudes sitting there. Uh, if you take away the quarters... Of course, it gets rid of the, the folk, the people. If you add them, it'll add all your quarters to where you want to go. Up here, you do have a recommended crew. That's your minimum recommended to operate. And then you have your actual crew number. So there's a lot of crew on this ship. We could honestly do that. And uh, let's make this thing a little more... Uh, there. A little more compact. So as easy as that, you just pick in place... Um, all of your things. Now, I'm going to come over here. Remember I talked about we would get to this. Well, now we're getting to this. If I click armor, this is the outside of the ship. Right now, it's made out of wood. 
Now, wood has certain advantages and disadvantages. Uh, for instance, it's weak and it catches on fire. Those are the disadvantages. Uh, the advantage is it's cheap. So all throughout here you see there's a price. And there at the top, there's a price. So every time you add or take away something, uh, it takes away or adds a price. Now, a common one, and I'll just click the fill button, is going to be your steel wall. Uh, you can see if I hover over it, you got a weight. Uh, each of these has a weight. Um, and then that will affect your service ceiling right there. So if I were to get heavy steel armor, right? Watch that service ceiling, boom, drops way down. Now, it won't be able to fly as high, but it will be protected. So I'm going to do steel armor. That gives us 231, which is a decent amount. Now, you got decorations and stuff if you want to add, like, you know, little little things all over it. A skull. Yeah. But, um, so on and so forth. You can add tanks to make it look, you know, neat and all sorts. Brass capsule. This thing is, this thing is a hodgepodge at the moment, but you kind of get the idea. Now we go to paint. You can paint it. You can paint your pieces, whatever colors you want. Of course, it is going to be a little blocky. It's kind of like a Minecraft style in that way. Um, steel gray, of course, it's kind of already steel gray. But, uh, yep, there you go. And there's all your colors. So, this thing will fly. It will not shoot, though. So, we add a cannon. And there you go. You got a field of uh, range, I guess you would call it, um, where you can aim your cannon. Now, we have rifles. You can flip it around, you can put it on the back. There we go. And so you can see it'll have that range and you can shoot behind you as well. Um, now of course, your cannon requires ammunition. Um, so let us go ahead and put this, let's say, right about there. And uh, let's, where's our ammo? Ammo store, there it is, boom. Now it's quite a hefty one. You do have, if we go to resources, uh, there it is, smaller ones. So, smaller designs require smaller things. If we wanted to, we could do that. But of course, we would have to figure out a way. So, what we're going to do here, is we're going to place those. You have fire extinguishers. We're going to put one on each. Fire extinguishers, of course, if you get shot, something catches fire, you're floating around in the air, you kind of need it to uh, get put out, as it were. Um, you have little ones, fire extinguishers, and you have fire points, which are giant, um, I would say, vats of water. Um, anyway, here's our ship, and you can uh, go to overlays, see where your crew will be running, you can see your hit points. Green, of course, is good. Red is not so good. Water, how close your next uh, water thing is, so on and so forth. If we add repair tools, it shows how close, our ammunition, coal. Now, exploding damage. This is kind of important. You can see that if something explodes here, that's going to be how much damage is given to the localized pieces. So if this explodes, that's going to be bad. If this explodes, so on and so forth. Um, even got dragged. Now this is part of a new update. Um, and I mean it just shows you kind of how this thing will fly. So you can look all through that if you want. I think this is time to uh, to get it out and uh, see how it flies. So we'll call it Mark 1. There we go. Alright. Save design up here. Mark 1. We'll leave. And we'll enter combat. Now, this is going to give you a random map every time. You have stupid AI, normal AI, and smart AI. That's a nice way of saying it. But anyway, keep it on normal. You can do dawn, day, dusk, fog, night, rain, snow, snowy night, storm, winter dawn, winter day, or winter dusk. Now, for what we're doing, let's just have day. And up in here, you can see add airship. So, we find our Mark 1. Plop it in. And uh, we have options. We can uh, we can put it against, let's say, expendable. Two of these. And I'm gonna hit start, 
and uh, we'll just see how this goes. Now, I'm going to hit spacebar to pause. Of course, up here you have your battle command, so you can pause, uh, slow down to a quarter, have normal speed, or even speed it up if you want. Now, we got uh, missiles incoming, so that's a problem. And, uh, oh, almost passed by them. These are our little enemies here. Now, all your controls down here, move, ram, ground ship, you'll see me using these. So while you're paused, you can click where you want to go, hit spacebar, and it will return just that way. Now we're going to get close to these guys. Down in here you can see aimed fire, normal fire, or rapid fire. Um, that just depends on how quick you want to uh, fire off your weapons. Now the quicker you fire, the less, um, rather the less uh, accurate they will be. Oh, you can see something just about exploded, so that is your explosion damage. Um, so the less accurate they are, if the quicker they are. However, if you're this close to somebody, you generally don't have to worry about being super super accurate. And there you go. We blew a hole in their ship. We can do outside view and we can kind of see our ship as well. So that gives you an idea. Of course, um, you can build super big ships. You can build super small ships. Um, the bigger you go, there's a point where it actually is too much. So you uh, start reaching levels uh, like up here would say, oh, here's an example. If I put, no, well, that's a bad example. I start putting things, just start adding size to this. At some point, oh, maybe they fixed that. Anyway, the point I was getting at is if you build too big, too heavy, uh, it's going to be a little difficult to fly. The structural isn't going to be so good. But this is one that I made, and uh, it kind of gives you an idea of just how in-depth this thing can go. Um, you can see everywhere you go. You can see all of it. You even have observation domes. You have crow's nests. Uh, telescopes to help you help you aim um, really guys this is an amazing game so I won't make this a long video I just wanted to get this out kind of show you how to build something and I think in the next one we will go into landship editor it's the same exact thing and uh, we'll uh, show you how to do that it's the same process but a few things are different so thank you for sticking around um, feel free to let me know if you want any more uh, comment subscribe all that good stuff and I'll see you guys next time all right bye